This video is a part of ERP Next Self Implementation course from selfimplementers.com in which today you will learn ERP Next Setup module. In this video tutorial, we will see how we can set up our ERP Next website. We will check the packages available and how we can set a trial, pre-trial setup. Then also we will add some information to our setup. We will verify our email account and then we will check the details. We will set some contact information and then our site will get prepared for the use of ERP Next application. So this way we can set up our ERP Next website. So go to the straight power, go to the URL and enter the URL where you can open. Once you enter the erpnext.com URL into your web browser, you will be landed on this page. Go to the pricing option then choose a start free trial option from the website here you can add a url to for your erp next application the site name is available so now enter the name and choose your country enter your email id and if you want to set a password then you can set a password and click on agreed terms of policy or privacy policy and click on create account once you click on create account signing up will take some time till then be patient keep your patience high and wait for the signing once signing has been done successfully you will get a verification email which email id we have entered go to that email account and verify you will your email id i have logged in to my email account and now i'm going to verify my account here is i am verifying it verification also will take some time till then keep your patience high keep your energy high then verification once verification is done then enter your company name here i am entering my company name selecting the industry and then i am selecting the number of employees and designation and now i am entering the contact phone number now we will be you will be landed on next page here you can choose your language your country will be india at the time of account creation we will set time zone comes default currency will be inr and you will be have some options need to be checked then if you want to allow a recording or if you want send user data you can make these decision by checking these two checkbox option. I am allowing you data uses and I'm not allowing recording of the first session. So I'm clicking on now next button. Then here, once again, I need to enter my name, full name for the account creation purpose. And again, I need to enter my email ID. So this time I'm using a separate email ID as well as my password already get set here get set here and now i am going to click on next button 
Then here I need to provide a company GSTN number, which is a mandatory field. In India, we have GSTN number, but in as per your country, you can provide a taxation, tax register number, whatever it may be. Once I have entered my GSTN number, then it will be get automatically verified. That means this facility is available in ERP next. The portal tax government tax portal is get connected with ERP next. Company name will get automatically fetch. Company abbreviation also automatically get fetch and default taxation percentages also get fetch from the GSTN number here. Chart of account is already defined because we are in India. So I'm using India chart of account. And now the financial year will begin on 1st April 2023 or 1st April 2024. So if I want to generate some data, data, some demo data for the exploration, so I can check this flag. And now I am completing this setup by click on complete setup button. Once I click on complete setup button, site is going to be setting up our system. And now once setting system setting will get completed, we are ready to use our website. So please be keep your patience, keep your energy high. Now site is going to be prepared. Now site is going to be prepared and within few seconds we are able to use our ERP next application. If you notice that here our URL is already get entered into the address bar punerp.erpnext.com and now the database is going to prepare backend and that's it. We have created our website and here workspace is already shown to uh, your screen this way we got all the modules on my left hand side you will get a module navigation module bar and on right side you will get the workspace of the home module if you go to the downward side of your workspace here you can get a full-fledged working access of the workspace at a master is there customer master is there supply master is there if you want to check you can click on at a master here you will get the demo data which we already selected during the setup we can get a demo demo data so demo data is now entered if you click on this particular item you will see all the atom details, it's HSN code, name, then atom name, atom ID, then atom group, everything it will be created automatically while the setting up our ERP next website. So thank you for your patience and attention. This topics of ERP next self implementation ends here. Kindly note the important information if you are facing any difficulties while implementing any third-party software like WhatsApp or if you are facing any migration difficulties with another ERP software like SAP, Oracle or if you are having any specific desires, problems on which you wish to customize the software, then you can Approach us for any support consultation as per your package with selfimplementers.com from the website or even you can email us to book your session at team, T-E-A-M, team, 
at selfimplementers.com. This video is a copyright of selfimplementers.com, which is owned by Pile Adventures Private Limited, which can be used as per package update by the clients who are authorized. If there is any misuse or a policy violation, then it will be a legal offense. Selfimplementers.com owned by File Adventures Private Limited is a CMMI level 3 and ISO DIPP certified company who is on a mission to help MSMEs with affordable and efficient technology software. Thank you for your kind cooperation. Have a good day.